at the Royal Mint to give you an insight into how they make coins, medals and more. But you can't make anything unless you've got the correct tools, right? So let's look at how the Royal Mint make the tools that they need so they can make the coins that we need. What are we looking at here? Uh, well, this particular machine um, is a CNC, uh, which is a milling machine, um, computer numerical control machine, which operates mainly on a program. And is it this thing here that does the cutting then? Uh, yes, it, that's the, sp um, the spindle. Um, and behind that carousel, or the shield as you see there, is a carousel. Right. And it revolves with different size cutters. So at the moment, well, if I give you an example, yeah. to start the design, um, the diameter of these particular cutters, for example, that's three mil. Yeah. And that will start. And that's like a drill yeah, bit. It, yeah, it spirals a um, couple of thousand RP revs per minute, and it just spirals around the actual blank, and eventually cut that design. So. Uh, yeah, the tolerances are quite fine, um, but literally this is what this machine does. Um, five kilograms of gold? Uh, yeah, that is, yeah. yeah. So, how, how much are we looking at? Well, whatever five kilos of gold is worth now and whatever design we, we put on there um, regarding anniversaries or whatever the significance of the occasion is, so naturally the coin's going to be worth more. So that's about roughly maybe uh, 200,000, something like that. Oh. It could be, you know, as I said ballpark figure. One-off coins if you need to cut them directly. Right. It's not the norm of because naturally coins are struck. These are collective coins on gold for the moment so they are cut directly. Not, it's not the norm of striking and making a coin. So if you're striking a coin then you need some sort of mold to hit. Well, it's a, it's right? a tool, yeah. It's a to right. what they call a tooling die. Right. So we make tooling dies, naturally we can make tooling dies and we do make collective to tooling dies on this machine as well. Not just the coin, yeah. the actual tool that will strike your coin. Can we see what? Certainly can. Right, as I explained, um, as we come from the other department, um, we cut a coin. Right. Now this is what I mentioned um, regarding tooling dies. Um, may look the same, I'm thinking what's the, what's the significance of this and what the difference is. Well this is a tool that will strike a number of coins. So it's not directly cut as a coin, it's a tooling die. So that's the shape. And the reason why this is the shape it is, and with the threads at the back, is because it's got to go into a press. So, for instance, we have that in a press that way, and then the other side will be facing up. So, as regards to the as the um, press is struck, your blank is in the middle, and you will have the coin, which will be, like I said, heads on the tails instantaneously. Got so you. literally what I'm doing on this particular uh, die is we start off like the blank and there you go, there's the blank. So we've got the same shape already turned and then we'll transfer that and we get that. And so that's done on that CNC? On the CNC machine, it's placed in the chuck yeah. Where you can see the coin, and then that cutter will do the same thing and produce this. But, so this setup here, it seems like you're doing a bit by hand as well. That's right, well, this is where the hand crafting comes in. And is this your thing? Yeah, well, a number, well, number of others, but um, I tend to uh, specialise in that because of the amount of years I've been looking at these designs. Um, and how many years is that? Yeah, 38 years. Gosh. Yeah. So. Me and the Queen are pretty much uh, acquainted with each other, even if it's not personal, but I'm looking at her on a daily basis. But anyway, with regard to this, 
When it comes off the machine, you've got a lot of, as I was explaining with the cutters, got lots of cutting marks. You will, even though the cutter is very fine, you will still, ultimately, it's cut in steel, so you're gonna get these ridges, marks, indentations, whatever that cutter is gonna produce. Um, there's always gonna be lots to work on. This is my colleague, uh, James McGrath. Um, I want to explain um, earlier on regarding um, the master tools. Um, this particular master tool is what um, I describe as the working punch. So. This looks awesome. And that starts off completely um, with no ingredients. Imperfection, no. That's where I mentioned the different stages of getting to the working punch. Now that is as perfect as it's going to get. So as it starts, it goes into the machine like this. Right, into this machine. That's right. Right. And then the working punch is in the jig. Right, yeah. And that comes down, yeah, and squeezes, and that's the impression you're going to get from that particular working punch, which and is... this is a die. Yeah, can I show you um, the working punch? No, the working punch, please. Yeah. Right, so the literally, that is a replica Got of it, yeah. That. So, can I touch him? So, yeah, can I touch him? So, this is put... Gosh, it's heavy, isn't it? Oh, it, is, it, is, it is. Two hands. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't drop it because I'll ah. have to repair it. Oh, gosh, of course. <laughs> God, I like the earring. It's so precise. So this is your handiwork? This is, yep. Yeah, this is the working punch that we created into the uh, from the uh, master tool department. Um, so these are what go to make the coins. That's right. That's the but to make die. But to make this tool, mm. you need this one first. Right. This one sits in the top of that machine. Yeah. I don't want to drop it. And that pushes it down into that to make these. And these are called what? Tooling dies. Tooling dies. And this is? Working punch. I'm so sorry. like for the UK pound coin, how many tooling dies have there been, do you think? Thousands and thousands. I, uh, as you can imagine, when you when you're changing currency or there's a new currency out, especially, for example, the pound, you need thousands and thousands. I'll change in the date. Yeah, well. every yeah every year is that you know the design stays the same, but the date changes uh, unless something like, um, for instance, the Queen's image will change over 70 years. So of course, yeah. naturally, we need to keep up with the times. But um, regarding the tooling uh, days, the amount of coins is phenomenal. And this is exactly what I love about engineering. Take something as seemingly simple as a coin and the thought and skills that go into not only making that coin, but also making the machines and tools that make that coin is just wonderfully mind blowing. And it's stuff that you might not have seen before and it's stuff that I hadn't seen. And so for more surprising stuff that goes on here at the Royal Mint, check out all of our videos on royalmintmuseum.org.uk.